Hi everybody, look at my parents, look at my parents. Okay. So um this video is for Global Witches and it's gonna be over my class and could you come sit over here please? Uh my older brother told the camera. Um this is gonna be over my class and the stuff that you're gonna need for my class. Uh so let's talk about that. First of all, my title as a practitioner is ancient Egyptian eclectic witch. And so that well not witch, but ancient Egyptian eclectic uh, practitioner. And what that means is that I take a lot from different other uh, from other cultures and other types of magic and I find a way to use those in my types of magic. <laughs> For example, I was looking through some uh old spell books one day and I found a Latin spe uh uh spell that was in Latin, I translated it and I found a way to reword it and rewrite it so I could use it for an ancient Egyptian god of the dead. And so that's what I did. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to connect stuff in the ancient Egyptian uh, magic. I'm going to teach you how to word stuff so they can be used from ancient Egyptian magic. I'm going to teach you how to word stuff in ancient Egyptian magic so they can be used in other spells. And I'm sorry, there was some, there was a fly or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to teach you how to do all of that stuff. So first of all, so uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you what books you need. The first book that you need, probably the most important book that you ever use, is Egyptian Paganism by uh, Joyce Ann Almond and Keith Seddon. And this book is very good. Um, it's written by two authors. One of them is a magician practitioner. The other one is an ancient Egyptian studier. And so it has a lot of information about ancient Egypt, how they would have lived, their culture, and all this stuff. So I really suggest this book. It talks about how to set up an altar and how to set up a shrine and a temple. So, uh, <laughs> excuse me, guys, my nose was running. My nose was running like a runaway slave. Uh, the next is the Wiccan Spell Book. This is by, uh, uh, Journey, uh, I don't know, uh, Journey in Dunwich, I think that's how you say it, I don't think that's right, but, uh, or Journey Dunwich, uh, and, uh, this book is very good, it talks about talismans and, uh, different stuff, and really get this book, because we will be referring to the talisman page, <coughs> to the, uh, Esbox page, and to the ingredients page in the very back. The Witches and Wizards spell book. We will not use this book as much for uh um as much for the spells in it, but more for the correspondence charts in the back of it. It talks about uh runes, herbal crystals, animals, uh all this different stuff and so we'll use the charts more than we use the spells. But if you want to use some of the spells, just shoot me an email and we'll talk about them in the class. That is by uh, Serona Knight. So, yes. Yeah. I'm sure you'll find her just by looking in the book. The, uh, the Charm Spell Book, The Charm Spells and Formula Book by, uh, Charm Spells and Formulas by Ray Malbrot. And Raymond Buckland, Dr. Raymond Buckland, as you see, he actually, uh, wrote his name, he actually read the book and wrote a review on it, and I read that, and he said that uh, he said that he really liked it. Um, I, there was just some things that I didn't personally believe in here, just because knowing some of the stuff that's in here, uh, it was. I felt like it was a pretty okay book. Mm -hmm. We will use. Was that my phone? Oh, I'll check it later. We will use the stuff in here. We will use what will we use? We will use the formulas, the candle magic, the saints work. We will use all of that. Um, if you are taking cast classes, you will need some of those books for this class. I have to order mine in because we will be talking about how to connect the Orishas to the ancient Egyptian deities. So you will need some of those books. So I suggest, and we will be talking about ancient Egyptian candle magic, uh, ancient Egyptian and using that magic in candle magic. So I suggest you flip over to uh, check out her videos and see what books she has because so, you will need some of those videos. Um... The next book on my list is The Magician's Table, a complete book of correspondences by uh, Alan 
Alan Richardson. Alan Re- Richardson, and this is uh, based off of the Golden. You can zoom out, please. Zoom out. Zoom out. Thank you. Uh, Alan Richardson, and this is based off of a Golden Dawn, uh, the Golden Dawn book handbook. And the Golden Dawn is sort of a big deal, coven, ceremonial, sacrificial, I don't know what you want to call them. They're, all I know is they're creepy and they wear robes whenever they practice. Um, which is, like, weird because I, well, I actually do wear robes. I'm actually working on one now. And that's what we're also going to talk about, and that'll, I'll tell you more about that towards the end. But, um, yes, uh, you'll need this book because this book is very important. Uh, well, yes, it is important because we'll need the table correspondences in it. We'll learn about the Kabbalists, which is talked about in this. We'll learn about the hieroglyphics and the ancient Egyptian poses. And uh, there's actually a couple of ancient Egyptian invocations in here that we will discuss and break down, and I will tell you what those mean. And so you need this book. Get it. Ugh. Okay. I'm sorry. Lastly, the most important book that I ever have and that you will ever, 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 ever own, a notebook. A notebook. This notebook is filled with spells, and I believe this is my either third or fourth one. I have spells and curses and everything in this book. You will need this book. It is deathly important. Um, you will also need, bring the camera up to my face, please. You will also need a couple of books that I'm waiting to order in, uh, uh, you will need a book called Ancient Egyptian uh, Revenge Magic. Um, you will need a book about charts, which I use for my uh, which I use for my readings. I'm sorry, I'm looking out for my mom. She's at the store. Uh, which is uh, the Book of Destiny, uh, Cards of Destiny, sorry, and uh, Cards of Love. And those are what I use to do my birth card, my birth uh, astrology chart readings. So you will need those. So please get those. We will discuss a lot of different stuff in my uh, classes. We'll talk about um, hoodoo, ancient Egyptian, uh, magic, of course, obviously, runes and how to use those in magic, and um, runes and how to use those in magic, and um, we'll talk about how to connect runes into ancient Egyptian magic. We'll talk about uh, Romani or Gypsy magic. We'll talk about some, uh, some, we'll talk about myths of ancient Egyptian magic. We'll also talking about we'll also talk about I'll get that later. We'll also talk about what else? Uh we'll talk about picture magic, how to make dolls in the ancient Egyptian form. In the ancient Egyptian way, not ancient Egyptian ancient Egyptian way. We'll talk about why language is so important to the ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses. We'll talk about uh different types of gods and goddesses and we'll talk about the myth of creation and we'll talk about symbolism in ancient Egyptian because in ancient Egyptian magic, symbolism is a big, big thing, and it's big in their myths because, you know, like, ancient Egyptian magic isn't as easy to understand as it is with uh, Greek magic because ancient Egyptians were like they were they were scholars as much as they were warriors, unlike the Greeks and the Romans, which is the Romans were the warriors and the Greeks were the scholars. So the Greeks had a set of myths that were more scholarly, whereas the myths on the ancient Egyptian side. I mean, or were the myths on the Roman side were more of a just a vengeful war telling story. So we'll talk a lot about the different gods and goddesses and how those connect to different gods and goddesses. We'll talk about Hindu gods and goddesses and how those connect to ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses. We'll talk about a, little, a lot of different stuff. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, you can get these books because the second my classes start, oh, that's another thing. Workshops for my class will not start until winter break here in Omaha. I don't know if that's the same time there. Well, yeah, it's the same time. Around uh, Christmas time, the week before, no, the week after Christmas. And uh, so that's when everything will start for me. And um, I am charging for readings now. Me and Kat agreed on a price. Uh, $10 for a basic uh, reading, a basic astrology reading, you know. You know, you just kind of want to know what your sign is and you just, just something for fun, and um, thirty dollars for something a little bit more expensive. So that's all I want to tell you guys, and uh, bye, 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 bye. bye.